What a fun video so far. So I'm gonna do a toss of a few treats here to help him decrease his arousal some more and lessen the chances that he's gonna have another immediate barking fit. Oh, there we go. Good job. I think that was longer barking than last time. Oh yeah, it's longer barking than a long time. Huh. He remembers you. Yeah. He likes you. Oh, I'm flattered, good boy. Okay, so now I'm gonna do just one treat because I can see he did a sit right away. Good, this is nice waiting. Give him another treat, good boy. Let's get some petting, good boy. Good job. Good, can I give you a pet without the jump? For the bark. Oh, there's a jump toward my face. Good. Good boy, I know. I know, you want me to like really love on you. But we're gonna start with just one hand because that's all I have free. Good dog. There we go. Good boy. Oh, that's so nice. So he says, I like these neck scratches more than the, when I was reaching under the chin, he said that wasn't as good. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry I can't reach you down there. Oh, there, oh, look at that, I can. Good boy. Good boy, that's so nice. Good boy. Good, good job. All right, let's see if I can walk in without a jump. Very good thinking through it. Good boy. He. All right, I'm going to come in, okay? So now I could, like last week, toss a few treats back if I want to just get in there easily without him jumping on me. And that um, works as both a distraction and again, it does help decrease arousal. But I don't wanna take that cheat right now. I wanna work through this. Oh, that's better than last week. Good. So he's starting to jump up more quickly now, mm -hmm. which means his arousal is increasing. So I'm going to help him out. I'm going to do another toss just as a little, hey, chill out. Don't worry about my hand on the gate. Let's calm down. Come back with more of a thinking brain. Okay, so you can see he's a little more thoughtful, a little calmer by the fact that he's just standing and looking at me to say what's next rather than immediately jumping at the gate. Mm -hmm. So now let me try. Oh, you've thought about it a little more. And now we're back in the same cycle, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, there we go, good boy. So he was jumping every time I put my hand on the gate. So I tried just holding it up in the air. He stayed sitting, tossed the treat back again to give a little bit more of a pause before I proceed. And I like this just sniffing the ground instead of throwing himself up again. I'm gonna see if he sits on his own without me telling him, good boy. Hand toward the latch, yes, much better. Toward the latch, yes. There we are. Hand on the latch, yes. What a good man. So he just need a little extra help to be calmer, yes, while I do that. What a good boy. What a good video we're getting.
Yes, good job. Yes, very nice. Yes, good dog. And I close it each time before I grab the treat because my left hand is busy. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want him to good race through the opening of the gate while I'm reaching for a treat. If I had two hands free, then I would be able to react more quickly to anything he does. Yeah. And then that wouldn't be necessary. Okay, I'm going to start to come through. Yeah. Okay, now I can see he's calm enough. Good boy. Now there's still a chance that he might suddenly jump up at me. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is not entirely come through the gate. And if he jumps up, I can always retreat back to safety. And then he gets that information of, hey, if you jump up, the person goes away. And then we would just restart with calming him back down. And I'm giving more frequent treats right now as I'm standing in front of him to really help him be successful and reward this nice, calm behavior. And if he looks like, yeah, he's not vibrating in place. He's waiting patiently for the treats. There, he did a little sit, like, look, look how I'm sitting. Look how good I'm being. But then I can now also reach down and start petting. I'm still sticking by the gate just in case so I can retreat if needed. But he's leaning into the petting on his neck. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, what a cutie. Good man, look at this. Yeah. So once he got over that first barking fit about me coming in, he's much calmer today. Just a couple points where he needed extra help. And now I've said hello to this lovely, lovely dog. And I want to get up and continue into the house. But I know that right now if I pull away, He's going to get amped up again because he's going to get sad about me pulling away. So right now I am going to proactively distract him. Oh, you're starting to climb up toward my face. So it's one of the things I just did there was I just put my thumb through the collar there to just very gently hold him back from my face. And he felt that and he stopped trying to get up to my face. So that was a really easy way to just interrupt that behavior. Yeah, that's my crotch, buddy. There you go. Okay, anyway, I was saying proactively use a treat scatter to distract him as I get up so that I don't have that big burst of, oh my God, you're stopping petting me and I'm upset. Good, and you didn't jump up again. What a good boy. Okay, jumped up a little bit, caught himself and sat. Very nice. I'm going to toss a treat so that I can get a few steps in. Sit. Yeah, you've been working on that. I can see. Oh, yeah. Sit. Okay, a little bit of a jump, but this is progress, so we're rewarding the progress. What a good boy. Sit. Good. See if I can sit down. Do you remember? Good. I didn't have to tell you this time. Good. Treat. And if I wanted to, I could have tossed a treat, had him go away and come back to practice some more sitting in front of me to ask for attention. I can offer him some petting, but he right there backed away and said, I want to play instead mm -hmm. so we can shift what we're doing. Good boy. Sit. 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 Good. Get it. Good.